we can use the snow effect to act as stars. All we have to do is modify it just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the ship actually flying through some kind of slow moving stars as they pass by. Now, of course, stars would be massive compared to a ship. So there'll be little particles of stars instead. So I'm going to go to the first frame and I'm going to add, guess what? A solid. Solids are something you use all the time. I'm going to go ahead and rename this. So let's call it stars. Dust. We we'll call it stardust. How about that? Instead of particles. Make comp size and the color is going to be black as you can see here. Now the reason is because the stars will be white on this effect. And if we use the screen blend mode, we'll be able to see the stars and not the black. We'll go ahead and say OK. And we're going to go to effect. We're going to go to simulation. And we're going to choose CC snow. Now once again guys, if you don't see these effects, that's because this version of After Effects CS5 requires a 64-bit computer. So if you don't have a 64-bit computer, you won't be able to see them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, suggest you make a copy instead of the star field and simply animate it from left to right. So that would be a way to achieve the same goal. So what you have to do in this industry as well is always try to think fast. Always try to think of a solution because you never know what a client's going to ask you and you never know what tools you'll have at your disposal. And that's a little trick I learned a long time ago. If you can't do something uh, because of some kind of limitation on your computer's part, you can always fake it by using something else. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of snow here. And when I scrub, well, it's going straight down. And our ship's going left to right, so this is not going to work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to reduce the amount of snow. There's a trillion, billion particles here. We're going to go ahead and reduce this a whole bunch. So we have just a few. We just want to have a little atmosphere in this scene. We're also going to slow it down because when I hit the space bar, it's going too fast. And that'd be great if the ship was going at warp speed, but it's not. It's kind of going at impulse. And man, am I a Star Trek nerd. I'm going to go ahead and drop this down. And it looks better. Nice and slow. But the problem now is this moving here. This is based on amplitude. I don't want this. I want the snow or the stars to go slow and not to bounce up and down. So I'm going to drop the amplitude down a whole bunch and I'm going to hit space bar again in the preview. Much, much better. Still a little bit too much bounce. I'm going to turn that down. Sometimes you really have to wrangle in that stardust. It just acts, misbehaves all the time. So I'm going to now take this whole layer and I'm going to hit R on the keyboard and I'm going to rotate it. So we can go ahead and enter 90 if you want to, or you can just go ahead and manually just drag this like I did. And we're also going to take the ends here and just extend it like so. Last but not least, I'm going to make sure I toggle my switches here so I can see this normal. And I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to screen. What screen does is it knocks out the black and keeps the light pixels. So let's go ahead and see what we have so far. I'll go ahead and hit the space bar. And it should look pretty cool. Now we have a lot of motion. The particles add to that sense of motion, as you can see there. Now in this particular shot, we can go ahead and change the direction of the stardust. So feel free to duplicate the stardust layer. Let me give you an example. We can duplicate this. In this particular case, we can actually hide it. But when we get to this angle here, we can turn the angle a little bit more so it's actually heading this way. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you. I'll go ahead and press Command or Control D on my keyboard. And on this layer of the stardust, I'm going to change the direction of it. So I'm going to rotate it again so that it matches the spaceship. And it looks a little bit better as it's heading towards the planet instead of going sideways. So in the other part, other layer, I'll go ahead and reduce the stars so it doesn't show up there. And that is how you can add some very cool special effects to your comp.